hi guys welcome to my youtube channel here you can see that we are doing the stone pitching around the culvert it is this place where we had the inlet of the culvert make sure you watch this video completely in order to better understand this concept of the construction of double cell box culvert after excavation with the help of excavator you can see that we are using the flat or smooth roller in order to smoothen the place you can see that the flat roller has been used here we are trying to make the place flat so that the construction of the culvert can be started you can see that a preparation has been done some remaining places have been excavated this is the center line where we have put the ranging pole the total length of this culvert is going to be 9 meters the width is going to be 3.75 meters the thickness of walls will be maintained at 25 centimeters here you can see that we have started the concrete blinding The concrete blinding thickness was maintained at 5 cm. Here you can see that after completing the concrete blinding, iron benders have started placing the reinforcement bars. For the base walls, we have used Y10 and Y12 mm bars. For the construction of base, we are going to have single mat. However, for the walls, we are going to have double mat of reinforcement bars. You can see that the two mats have been separated with the help of U-bars. The total thickness of walls have been maintained at 18 cm. Since concrete cover would be placed here and then it would make it 25 cm. As such, always keep a space for the concrete cover on either sides for the base as well as for the walls we have maintained the same spacing of 20 centimeters overlapping has also been done for the walls you can see that the overlapping is maintained at 50 to 60 centimeters all around it has been connected with the reinforcement bars of the base the end to end height of this culvert is going to be maintained at 80 cm whereas the width of each box is going to be maintained at 1.5 meters we are going to extend our reinforcement bars for the construction of apron as such whenever you are constructing the culvert Make sure you keep the starter bars for the apron so that later on reinforcement bars can be placed for the apron as well as for the wing walls. Similarly, you have to keep the starter bars from the walls if you are going to construct the head wall for the culvert. After placing the reinforcement bars, you can see that we have started pouring concrete into the base. The base thickness is also maintained at 25 cm. After placing the concrete, you can see that the carpenter is placing the shuttering for the walls. These walls have been tightened with the help of tie rods. Later, acro jacks are going to be used so that they can be straightened and the support can be given to these walls. After placing the foam work or shuttering for the walls, you can see that we have started pouring concrete into the walls. We have maintained a ratio of 1 to 4. Concrete walls are ready and now you can see that the shuttering has been placed for the construction of concrete decking. Reinforcement bars had been placed for this decking, we have maintained double mat reinforcement bars. 
the reinforcement bars have also been placed for the head wall you can see it here the height of this head wall is going to be 60 centimeters from the top of decking you can also see that the starter bars are coming out from the wall as well as from the base and then you can see that overlapping was done and iron bender had to place the reinforcement bars for the wing wall as well as for the apron here you can see that we have poured concrete into the apron now the shuttering has been placed for the head wall and for the wing wall where we are casting the concrete now for the construction of head wall as well as for the wing wall we have maintained the thickness of 25 centimeters here i would like to inform you that for each cubic meter of concrete i had to use six bags of cement as such you can understand that for each cubic meter how many cement bags you are going to use when you are following the concrete mix ratio of 1 to 4 here you can see that our culvert is ready the shuttering is going to be kept here for the decking you can see after 28 days of curing you can see we have started backfilling of this culvert with the help of laterite we are using this JCB in order to spread the laterite all around guys this is it for today I hope you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel until my next video Goodbye.